Hello, my name is Mercury and welcome to this brand new episode of Media Fae. Today, I am alone today, I'll be uh, ranking the Pokemon of the first generation slash the Kanto region. So this is something that I want to do for quite a bit of time. Uh, this was announced alongside the Pokemon Sword and Shield episode and this was one of those episodes that is late. So yeah, it's that. But today we I, I am discussing this mainly uh, alone, I think as I said. And you know, I am discussing all of them. I am not discussing the forms of the Pokemon. I am only discussing them from when they first appeared in, in their respective generation, generation one. And yeah, uh, this is gonna be probably a, a, a bit, maybe not, maybe not a bit longer, but definitely longer than the certain shield one because I, that because Gen Eight has less than uh, that's significantly less than Gen uh, Gen than Gen One. But still, I I I, I hope this will be a good one. I think I mentioned this before in the certain shield episode, but. Uh, but we will be doing all of the, uh, all of the gen all of the generations at some point. Uh, we will be going through doing all of them. And next year should hopefully be Gen two. And I don't know when Gen three is coming out. We are not gonna do an, an episode specifically tiering Gen four because we have the Dam Dam uh, Burn Dam Shining Pro episode for that. So. We're gonna do it. Yeah, we're gonna do a billion diamond, a billion diamond shining pro episode for that, and we're gonna we're gonna include the Gen Four po tier list there, mainly because I I I wouldn't have much to talk about billion diamond shining pro anyways. But but yeah. Anyways, I really don't know what to say. Oh yeah. Um, if you guys are seeing it, it, it if you guys are seeing this, it looks kind of weird. Uh, how I structure uh, this recording and look at the the tier the, the actual tier list might look a bit like big but for me it's not looking that way but but for a lot of people it probably is that's because i am cutting this in a way where it cuts away all the ads because that was a problem i had when recording the, the last episode uh the last tier list and the last thing the last time i did this so yeah, now I am just recording the, just like this section. I don't know how long this episode will be, probably way longer than, than the, than the Certain Shield one. If it isn't, then that's actually probably better. <laughs> but, but yeah. Yeah, like, like I said, no other forms will be discussing all of those, like the first type of Lolan forms or Mega Evolution. We're going to be discussing that in future episodes. Uh, specifically, for example, Mega Evolution will be in Generation. Uh, we'll be we'll, we'll be discussing Generation Six. Like it will be a complete Generation Six uh, lineup. It will be uh, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire and SMY. We could do episodes on on those two uh, on those on those games, but I kind of don't want to. <laughs> I kind of I kind of don't want to go back and do episodes on all the Pokemon games I've ever owned. I mean, it'd be, it'd be fun, but. I don't think I want to. I'll, I'll decide on that. But we, but we could definitely do Gen six and Gen seven uh, T lists. Like it's 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 definitely possible that we we could do them like within episodes if if we want to discuss, for example, uh, the other games I own, which I do own, like for com, com, like I own. At least one version of every game after Gen like Gen Six onwards, but the only one that don't own uh, a second version of is uh is Burn Down and Shining Pearl and Let's Go Pikachu Let's Go Eevee. So they're fucking remakes, the the Switch remakes. But yeah, um, and obviously Lens Arceus because there's no second version of that. Uh, but yeah, enough preamble. This is just gonna sort of record itself, pretty much. I don't have to do, I don't have to do other stuff. So yeah, let's just begin. As you can see, I have all of these guys. 
Note it down here. Yeah, I, I didn't make... Unlike the... Uh, unlike the, the Gen 8 one, I didn't make this one. So, yeah. It's fun just having that. This is from... Who is this from? Um... I have no idea. Let's say. Here, okay. It's from Bubblin Jack. So thank you, Bubblin Jack, for um for making this tier list. This is made back in December twentieth of twenty nineteen, which I mean a long ass time ago, almost five years ago. Yeah, let's just begin, I guess. Um First up, Bulbasaur. I I like Bulbasaur. I th I think. Uh, oh yeah, before we begin. Uh, yeah, it's the it's the usual media FA. Uh, tears S S is amazing. S is perfect. A is great. B is good. C is decent. D is bad. F is the worst thing of all time. Um. Bulbasaur, I like it. Uh, obviously, we're, we're gonna rank this differently than Dungeon Gen 8. These designs are a lot simpler. So, I don't know if anything will get to S tier. But I, I, I hope it does. I really, do, I, I really do hope that something gets into S tier. But Bulbasaur, I think it does the job well of it being this sort of early starting, like, cute monster, uh, cute Pokemon. Hey, Monster Hunter in the mind. No, but like this cute Pokemon, uh, it obviously has like it, it, it does well of like conveying the, the the grass type that it has, and I I feel like it, yeah it just conveys it well. I I like the colors of it here. It just it, it's not just green. Sure, the the, the bulb is green, but it has like a but Bulbasaur has like this slightly bluish green color with the red eyes that make that stand out I do quite like this it's much more on the green side but but but, but I do like bubble source design I think it's really good I th think it's good I don't think it's amazing I don't think it's great or uh, but I think it's a good design uh, Ivysaur I feel like goes in that same vein and I guess I'll put in uh, Venusaur here this entire line just it's just good I, I'm not the biggest fan of of uh, of these of these guys. Not, not, I'm not, I, don't, I'm not, I don't like them, but I'm not like oh I'm I, I'm not the I'm not like the target audience for these guys. I'm not I'm not like frog loving. I'm not like a frog. I I like frogs, but I'm not like a frog loving person. But I, I do, do like what they went here. Ivysaur. I feel like it's just kind of more Bulbasaur, and I think Venusaur just looks good. I don't, I don't think it looks amazing or great or anything. I just think it looks good. I like what they did with the evolution here with with the with the bulb on the back after he's flowering into into a flower, like, and I like that. And the fact that it goes kind of uh, that the evolution kind of goes in like this just becomes a little bit more bluer. Uh, something something that I, I I might why like Ivysaur is is here and why Venusaur is here is because Venusaur because Ivysaur just kind of looks like Bulbasaur. Like yeah no it's 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 an evolu it's like a middle stage evolution like that that that's like supposed to happen, but it, it it's just fucking Bulbasaur like it's just a big Bulbasaur and Venusaur looks like Ivysaur but kind of departed and I don't like departed from that I don't really like and I I'm not the biggest fan of that. It's not like a natural um, evolution, I don't think. But yeah, I do quite. Li I I do like these three, but they're not like my favorite. Next up is Charmander. We kind of discussed this, I think, last time. But I I like Charmander. I think Charmander is sort of like one of the. Yeah, it's it's an A tier design. <laughs> fucking fucking sue me. It's an A tier design. Um, so, Charmander, I feel like it, it does things well. It's not just, it, sure, it's very simple, but I think it does it better than Bulbasaur. I think 
I just like Charmander's design more. Sure, it's just a lizard with a fire for its tail, but like that wasn't really a precedent before then. But before Generation One, and I think like it it does that it, it does. It does the cute thing well, but also it does the cool thing well. Well, it's like a firefight tail. It's a it, it, it's a lizard, and that wasn't the Charizard, which also cool. Yeah, no, I, I think I think Charmander does its job well, and I feel like it's a better design than Bulbasaur, and I wouldn't really put it here. So yeah, um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get flack for this, but I'll explain myself. Yeah, I like the red on. I I like the red on Charmeleon better and the design on Charmeleon better than I do like Charizard. And I know Charizard has become sort of like this, uh, like this fan favorite. Not only fan favorite, people start fucking hating this thing. <laughs> Post Gen Eight, no, yeah, with Gen Eight. When Gen 8 started, people fucking hated Charizard because it got included into Sword and Shield and not any of the other starters. Uh, I feel like that was really fun. Uh, that, that was kind of funny to see, but yeah, it was kind of unfair to have the some of the other guys just kind of not be there. But but yeah, I I feel like. I, I feel like I, I just like Charmeleon's better colors better. He's a lot sharper. He's a lot. Uh, he's a lot more intimidating. And I do. I and I and I'm not exactly the biggest fan. The Charizard just kind of loses all of that, and it just becomes kind of like, sure, it's evolving. For, like it looks like a uh, Charmeleon of wings. Like it does that that job well. Like for conveying the evolution. But I think I just like Charmeleon's design better. A lot better. He's one of the best designs of the generation. Compared to Charizard, which just kind of goes back to trying to, to, to being Charmander, only with like a little bit more vibrant colors. That, that, at least that's what I think. I'm not I'm, I'm not a fucking expert in like color design or anything, but yeah, I guess that's what I think. Next up is Bulbasaur. Uh, Bulbasaur, fucking no. A Squirtle. And Squirtle is... Uh, is good. I don't have much to say about Squirtle, to be honest. I think it's the one I picked the least, mainly because Squirtle is, like, in Gen 1 and in all, in all the Gen 1 games, Squirtle is, like, the one starter that is, like, okay, yeah, it's the second best starter, but, like, it's a, it's not good after, like, it struggles after Brock. Like, you're better off with uh, Bulbasaur in that scenario. And if you want to be cool and hardcore, you pick Charizard. Which is fucking genius design to have the coolest looking starter. Uh, well, maybe not. The, the, one of the coolest looking, uh, like, starter designs here in Generation 1 be, like, one of the hardest ones to, like, manage with. I feel like that's a really cool, like, way of, sort of, no, I'm not punishing, we're definitely making it harder for picking the cool one. And you know, you you have to be cool. And you you might in, in the in the nineties you might you might have been taken as cool for having the balls to fucking to beat Brock and Misty with a Charizard. I mean it, it, it learns Dragon Rage. Yeah, it learns Dragon Rage, who gives a fuck? You just fucking blast you just blast those two gyms with Charmeleon Dragon Rage because he's so fucking over leveled. But yeah, Squirtle, he's good. He's just like a a, a cartoonish, made to be cute turtle with like blue turtle. Like that's all he is. I feel like War Turtle is a better design. If I can put, him, yeah, there we go. And so is Blastoise. I'm not putting Blastoise in S tier. I, I I'm locking it in. <laughs> I'm not putting Blastoise in S tier because. Wait, no, no, no. He's going. He goes up here. Blastoise is going in S tier. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not locking it in. I, I think. I think the Squirtle line is goes better as it as it as it goes on. 
And I feel like Blastoise is a superior design to Charizard. This is what I think. I feel like the Turtle of Cannon stuff is really cool. And obviously, sure, it's just a turtle, but I feel like it does that. It does things well from both. It, it takes things from both. Uh, I mean, it takes more from from Squirtle, but also has like that deeper color that that the line goes in. And I do really enjoy that. So I'll give it that. It has a cool color scheme. I uh, I'll I'll give it that. Just it, it has a cooler color scheme, and I feel like the cannon stuff it has it's just more unique things going on for it. Like, I think I think Blaster has more things going on for it than than Charger has. And War Turtle, I do I would have I, I wish that they kept like the like this like uh like the I guess the ears like the like the fluff. I wish they would have kept that, but. This is Gen 1, they're not going to keep, they're, they're, they're not really going to be consistent. The only one consistent here is like, uh, Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur, but even then, like, we have like the, the, the face, like how the face looks like, and how like the body like, looks like in general. So, I feel like these are the most, uh, Charizard, uh, Charizard, like, these are the most consistent, uh, uh, Squirtle, the A tiers and the S tier starters, I feel like they're the most consistent here. But I do like I do like Blastoise design over Charizard, but I never pick Squirtle, so I'm not I'm only going off of design and stuff. All right, next up is Caterpie. Uh, the the fucking Caterpie line. I'm just gonna put these all in C tier, and I am going to do the same for the Weedle line. I'm just gonna talk about them all, and it's that Beedrill. Beedrill's going in B tier. Um, these are just bugs. Like, these are just cartoon bugs. Fucking Caterpie is a real bug. Like, it's based on a real bug, and it looks like a fucking real bug. So, yeah, I'm just sort of lumping them all in here. Just because they're all fucking, they're all bugs. Except Beedrill. I think Beedrill does a design. Does, does a card, I, I a cartoonish monster, uh, be well at with the drills. It looks, it looks kind of cool so i'll give it the b tier but it's still just like a wasp b thing like with drills on its hand like, it's still not pinnacle design or anything and i just realized all oh, all the route one it's also except no i i these are okay i this i i i like pidgeot's i like pidgeot's colors a lot more than these guys i feel like it looks cooler and not, and a lot sleeker, but it, it's just it, it's still just B tier. Uh, same goes for these guys. I like Spiro more. I, I don't have to fucking talk about the rats. They're just it's a purple rat and a, and a bigger brown rat. Like, this is just a fucking rat. This is, this is just a bird. This is just rats. Like I there, there there's no like sure it's normal type. But there's nothing interesting about them. It's just they're these animals. But I, I do like Spiro more. I like the red. I like the the sort of like sharper design it has, and I do like Firo way better than all these like birds. I think Firo looks a lot cooler. It's a lot more stuff going on for him. Yes, in more interesting colors. Sure, it's, it's still red and stuff, but I think like it's more interesting body plan. It's more. It, it just looks cooler. Ekans. Uh, I like Ekans, and I think Arbok is S tier. I am fucking sorry. <laughs> Sure, it's just a cobra, but I feel like the purple, like, I, like it, it's just a, it, it's a fucking same thing with Radada. It's just a purple snake, but I feel like the color, des color designs on these two are better. I, I, I do agree that Ekans is just a fucking snake, but I do, I do like how the colors fit more than Radada. So I think I, I do like Ekans more and Arbok. I feel like the purple, the red, and, and the yellow, and like the face on, on, on its, on its, uh, uh, the, the face on its, uh, on its, like, uh, like, it got, what do you, what do you call it, like, neck? It's not even a neck, it's just fucking, like, this, cra I, I don't know, like, this, the, the face <laughs> on it. I think it looks way better, I think it looks, it's great design for, like, for Gen 1. 
Uh, next up is Pikachu and Raichu. I might just fucking go in and do all the lines instead of doing them one by one because goddamn. This is this is gonna take fucking forever if I do it one by one. So I'm switching it up. I'm gonna do lines. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna talk about them why they're, they're placed that way, but I'm just gonna do lines because I can't be fucked. Um, Pikachu is C tier. Raichu is A. Let me explain. So I know Pikachu is the, like, mask on the franchise. That's kind of why I, I, I'm, I don't let bias try, get in here. I mostly go for, like, a, like a normal ass view on these monsters, on, on these creatures. But god damn it, it makes it hard to fucking like Pikachu. Pikachu is getting so much that I don't even care for it all that much. It's just C tier. It, 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 sure, it look it is all those things that I feel like the 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 B tier uh, the B tier uh, Pokemon here do like it's it's an, it's an interesting take, but it's an interesting take it has a unique it has like a type that's cool. It has an interesting color scheme. I mean, I'm just fucking tired of Pikachu, man. But I know it's 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 not gonna go away anytime soon. Right from then, I feel like it's a lot more unique. Sure, it's it's like. It's or it, it's orange color. It's a lot. It's a lot more of a duller color. But I do like the yellow and orange more, and I feel like it has more colors. It has like that brown on, on its uh, on its like on its on, on its hands and feet. That I feel like looks really cool. Yeah, and, and and also like the the ears are like the the, the yellow is part of the inner ear, and I feel like that does some things well. I do like uh, Raichu's design a lot more. He's not S tier. He's not up here. With these guys, but he's definitely. A way, way better design than Pikachu. Sentru and Sand Slash. Sentru is B tier for me, while Sand Slash, it's between S and A. I think A, A, A. I like Sentru design a lot more. Sure, he's just he's just a true, but I feel like he like the rolling thing does does wonders for it, and I do like that it's like a sandy like. Mon uh, Pokemon, I keep saying monster fucking hell. I just, I just like his design more than like any of these fucking guys, to be honest. So that's why it's up here. And Sand Slash is just cool. He's just cool. I, I, I love Sand Slash a lot. I think he's a really cool Pokemon. Alright, we're just gonna blaze through these guys. The Nidorans. Uh, uh, eh. 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 There you go. Alright, so the Nidorans, um, these are just okay. All these are okay. I do like Nidor Nidorina more than Nidor Nidor Nidorina. Nidorina, fucking hell. These are just fucking the same. These are just fucking rats. Uh, Nidor Queen is, is good. I, but I, I, but it's just there. I guess I'm not. I'm not the biggest Nido Queen fan, to be completely honest. And Nido King is just better, but he's not S tier. I don't feel he's not. He's on S tier levels. He could have been, but I don't think he is. I think I don't like. I don't like a, like a little bit of Nido Reno, unlike its face and the kind of that transfers here. So yeah. I'm not the biggest Nido King fan. I'm not. I'm not. He's not. He's not. He's not. Yes, tier levels. There's not gonna be a lot of them here. But but yeah. Um, Clefairy, Clefable. These are just okay. If if, if they can move, fuck, move. There we go. Okay. Uh, these are just okay. I don't have much to say. They're just fairies. Pink blob fairies. They're not anything special, really. <laughs> like just, just, just putting it there. They're not anything special. So, uh, don't fucking come at me when. Uh, just, just, don't don't come at me when I say, oh, these are just fucking fairies. Like yeah, no, they are. They're just. I don't think there's anything good about them. Like sure, they're fairies, but they they weren't fairies, but they were, but they are now. And. They they're based on fairies like just, they just they just look okay. I'm not I don't dislike them. I'm not their biggest hater or anything. 
They're just okay designs. Uh, Vulpix and Ninetales. This is fucking. This is this is just obvious. Um, I'm getting to the point where I'm not gonna have to. I, I'm, I'm. This is too much for the tier list. Uh, Vulpix is just kind of it's just good. I, I like the design a lot more. I think it does the cute uh, the cute thing well. I do like the the, the like the six tails it has, and like uh, and like the curls like that go on, uh that go on the head and the colors and now and nine tails is really good. I think it's a really interesting way of to take a kitsune. Let's take a kitsune, yeah kitsune. I think it's an interesting way to take a kitsune, and I think uh, I think the colors work a lot better and it's shiny. I I don't think shiny's into this, but shiny sh shiny nine tails. It, it, it's fucking peak, man. All right, uh, Jigglypuff, Igly, uh, Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff. No, that's not Gen. Uh, Jigglypuff, Wigglytuff. They are just okay. I'm not, again, not much to say. They're just okay designs. It's just a, it's just a fucking ball with eyes, and it's just a, like an oval of eyes. I don't, I don't, I don't much to say about these. It's a pink, it's a pink ball with eyes, and a pink. It's a slightly less. Yeah, it's a slightly more pastel pink ball of eyes. It's just it's just not anything special really. Uh Zubat go back. Fuck these guys. They're going in D tier. Uh again, don't literally don't don't take fucking don't take all this much the personal things, but I just don't like these guys. They are so fucking annoying. Please just stop. <laughs> Stop doing that. Stop appearing in caves. I'm glad I, I was glad in Gen A when you were gone. <laughs> oh no. I, I think they're gone in Gen 9 too. I don't think they're in Gen 9. So I'm glad you fucking stayed in that goddamn awful place. Because you you use you yourself. There's nothing actually good about you. You just bats that are blind and you look kinda stupid. <laughs> I don't like these two. Good thing it, it, it gets better that gen, but uh, not a. Uh, but these are not good starting points. Uh, Oddish Gloom and Vile Plume. Uh, Oddish is C, Gloom is D, Vile Plume is B. I like Vile Plumes. I also start with Oddish. Oddish is okay. It's just a fucking again a ball. A blue ball, blue ball, with like the fucking weed, uh, weed symbol on it. Like it, it, it's there. It's okay. Like, like the top thing is special. Gloom, it's it, it looks worse. It, it looks worse. Like I don't like the dollar like oranges and reds it has here, and like the drool coming out of it. Ugh. I almost had a gag reaction. Um, I like Valblum's flower a lot more. I like its colors a lot more. It has like a lot more vibrant colors. Kind of cl closer to Oddish. And I think the flower does things way better for it. Um, Paris and Parasect. I think Paris is an okay design. It's not anything. It, 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 it's like, I don't even know what this is. <laughs> I don't know what insect this is supposed to be. But I think it does it well. Uh, it's just okay. It's just like it's just a bug. But I feel like Parasect is a lot better, and I think like, I think Parasect is one of the better designs generation. I just like it more, and I like the, the story behind it, where it's like the 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 mushroom is taking or, or like the fungus is taking over Parasect. That's why it's like eyes are all gone and stuff. But yeah, it's really cool. But aside from that, there's not much to say about Parasec, to be honest. It's just, it, it, it well, no, nah, like there's a lot to say. Like I, I, I like the colors on here. Like sure, it's the same colors here, but I do like it a lot more, and I can design a lot more. But aside from that, there's not much to say about him. I just, I just he's just eight here. Venonat and Venomoth. Oh, Venonat is here again. It's like a. I'll 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 put I'll put them. Uh, and and Venom off cousin B. Uh, Venom is just there. <laughs> I guess like it, it looks fine. It's just like a big ball of fluff of 
bug eyes on it, and like that's okay. I do like Venomoth's design a lot more. And I, I feel like Venomoth has gotten like a short end of the stick, of the stick compared to other uh, Gen, Gen One Pokemon, but I, feel like Ven I like Venomoth's design a lot more than uh, than Venonats. I feel like the colors work. A lot, I, feel, I feel like the colors on Venomoth work a lot better with the, like the like the very light purple on it. That I think I think this is a way better design. Uh, Diglett and Doug Trio. I would say just okay, <laughs> just okay. It's it it, it it's it, it's like the weirdest take on a mole. It's just a, a it's just a cylinder, a, a burrowing cylinder, and then with all this becomes three burrowing cylinders, like. It was like, it was like the, the, the fucking, like, Mario was, like, the like the Mar Super Mario 3, like, background things. That's what, that's what Diglett looks like. So, yeah. I'm not... <laughs> I, I don't know what to really say. But that, 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 that that's what Diglett looks like to me. So, yeah. Uh, Meowth and Persian. Meowth... B... This guy... S. I like Meowth design a lot more. Sure, it's just a cat, but I do like the uh, the inspiration as with, uh, with, with like having with, with being like inspired on, on that doll and the fact like in the anime is so iconic. And and I like the colors on it. I actually like the like the brown and the and like the what was it, like the like, this is beige and Persian. Sure, it's just a cat, but I feel like it does design so well, and it's like a, a big cartoon cat so well. That I feel like it should get a pass. <laughs> I feel like I feel like Persian should get a pass, and with Persian there, we are officially hundred uh, fifty two Pokemon in. No, no, fifty three. We that means we have ninety eight to go. <laughs> but whatever, I, I, I like I like Persian. A lot. Uh, Psyduck and Golduck. Uh, Psyduck, I feel like it's just okay. Psyduck is okay. I like Golduck a lot better. Yeah, Psyduck is okay. It's just a yellow duck with a headache on it. And, and I do like Golduck's sign a lot more. I like the blue and uh, like the web feet look cool. And, and I think it just looks cooler. And I feel like the gem on it looks, uh, yeah, since it's blue. But Psyduck is just a duck. Like, he's just a derpy duck, and I and sure you, you can you can appreciate that, but it's not going to be my favorite design. Mankey and Primeape. Uh, Mankey, eh, it's just a I, 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 these like first designs. I'm not like all big on for the the, the, the neck like the, like after a certain point of Gen One, and I feel like Primeape is just a tier. I I like Primeape a lot. I think its design looks a, a lot better than. The monkey. I think it's just like monkey looks too much like a pig monkey. While this goes in a a, a different uh, uh a different lane, that I feel like it looks a lot better. Like the the black on like the cuffs and looks a lot better. Like uh, the colors are darker, which helps them accent accent more. I feel like it just looks way better. Uh, Growlithe and Arcanine. Are Growlithe is B tier? Arcanine is S. Let me just. Let me just make that clear. Arcanine is S. I know it's like a fucking basic bitch, uh, take the half, but Growlithe is just like, like the cute, cool dog here. I feel like it does, it does that well, and the colors are, are all there, but Arcanine has like the, like the fluff and the, and like the tiger stripes, like the, or the orange and like the cool face. I feel like it does things a lot better than Growlithe, and it deserves to be here in S tier. Polygap. Poliwag, Poliwhirl, Poliwrath, and eh, they're they're okay. They're just again, they're just frogs. I feel like they're they're like the most Gen One designs ever. They are so simple, it's actually like painful. <laughs> they are such simple designs that it's actually kind of painful to look at <laughs> because they're they're like the epitome of Gen One designs. They are so goddamn simple. It's kind of insane. <laughs> But yeah, um, uh, Abra line, okay, the basic bitch take coming up. 
I like Sam just looks really cool. I, I like I like Sam a lot. I, I, I like Sam a lot. I feel like he is one of the cooler trade evolutions. Uh, these just look, they're just good. Actually, no, I'm gonna bump down uh, Kadabra. I like Kadabra as much. I think it's okay, but I feel like it's a. I, I think it's a yeah, weird departure going from here to there, and I don't like Kadabra as much as Alakazam, but I think Abra is really it's it's a good design. Yeah, I don't, I don't like Kadabra as much. Machop, Machoke, Macham. Um, to be honest, I'm not gonna I'm eh, I'm not gonna put these guys any higher than this. F fucking move. Uh, they I don't know. Like, the, like the, the forearms is cool, and like the, like macho guy, whatever, but, and they're, they're not anything higher than this, to be honest. They're just okay designs. These are just okay designs, at least good. I'm not the biggest Machamp guy. Okay. Uh, Bell Sprout, Weeping Bell, Victory Bell. These go in here, and Victory Bell is A tier. Uh, these are just okay. These are kind of derpy and all that, but I'm not like I'm not the biggest derpy guy, a der derpy uh Pokemon, Pokemon fan. But I feel Victory Bell looks a lot cooler. Uh, the I, these guys all do like the yellow well, but I feel like Victory Bell does does it way better with a lot more green on it, and it has a lot more, a lot more design details with like the like, like this like vine. The fuck, it's vine and like the teeth and all that. I feel like it does design way better than any of the other ones. Tentacle, tentacle. Ugh. Fuck you. Actually, no. Fuck you. And you go in V tier. Being the same fucking reason. Tentacle, you're kind of annoying in late game, but I don't. But I don't have to encounter you that much. I don't really care. Tentacle, you can go fuck yourself. Like actually. Please. Uh. It's just a fucking squid, but it's an but, but like I, I I would like the colors. It also is fucking annoying. I think it looks better than these two, but it does not save it from being here. So tentacle is yeah no it's not it's not, it's not fucking saved. Just it deserves to be there. I am not going to take a, any of their answers. It deserves it, it deserves to fucking be here. In this goddamn pile of garbage, fucking just. DT. I mean, it's not poly garbage, but it's steel. It's not good. All right. Next up is the Golem line, and this goes solidly in the C tier. They are just fucking rocks. I'm not even gonna put Golem a bit up. It's just a fucking rock of a lizard face on it. That's not anything special. That 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 really isn't anything special. I don't have much to say other than that. It's it, it's just, you know, it's just not special at all. They're just fucking rocks. They have hands and arms and all that shit, but seven that? Nada, nothing. Ponyta and Rapidash. I like Ponyta more. It's in B tier, and Rapidash, I feel like, is a good A tier design. Uh, Ponyta does, does the cute thing well, even it does all like I like I said the, the cool like, a lot of these designs have the cool and cute thing in B tier. But I, I'm just not like the biggest fan of that. But I feel like uh Ponyta does it well with like the whole flames and stuff is like a flame horse and rapid ash just like the like the beautiful mane of hair of, of of flaming hair and all that, like I feel like that does it well. And like the majesty of the unicorn and all that, but it, I think that's a well. The thing is, like, this is fucking gen. This is this is gen one. There's not a lot of things you could do with this line, so it just kind of stayed like this. So yeah, that 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 that's that's rapid ash. <laughs> that's rapid ash for you. Next up is Slowpoke and Slowbro, and they just okay. It, I I I would have liked this, but I, I'm not the biggest fan. Of these two, uh, I I feel like like uh, they're just okay designs. I don't have much like actual feelings. Like I'm not I'm not like I don't, I don't I don't I don't feel anything looking at them. They're just okay designs. Same thing with Magnemite and Magneton. It gets better with Magnezone, 
But again, this is just not really for me. They're just magnets to the eyes. They're, they're not anything special. Far fetched. It's same thing. They they they're just it's just a fucking. It, it's it's just a bird with a leak. It's like a duck with a leak. It's not anything. So it's not even the only duck Pokemon in this region. And yeah, it, it, that's just what it is. That's just what sci That's just what fucking far fetched is. It's just a bird of a leak, and it's like one of the hardest ones to get. Apparently, like in Gen One, I think. And it's for no reason. Far far fetched before uh, Galarian far fetched existed. Fucking sucked. Like, like it, it was a pretty bad Pokemon. So. It, it, it's not getting any brownie points for me, to be honest. So, yeah. <laughs> it it really isn't getting any brownie points for me. And uh, and just being like, oh yeah, it revolves the Surfetch. No, 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 we already discussed, we already ranked the fucking Dollar and Farfetch and, and Surfetch. Like, Yes, <laughs> this like this is what yes those are good. This is not. This is just okay. Uh, Doe Duo, I feel like Doe Duo is okay, but Doe Drio is great. I like Doe Drio a lot. I think I feel like the, the colors and like the the, ag the aggressive, uh, uh, the the aggressive sort of like temper it has. I feel like it's a lot better than Doe Duo just having like two heads. And being like just there, I feel like it's a lot better. Like a dumbass bird. I like Dodrio being more aggressive, and I like the colors more, with like the red and the black and all that. This doesn't really have all that. It's just kind of like brown on beige on black. I get a little bit of black, and that's not really my my. That's not really what I like. Seal and Dugong, they're okay. They're just like they're just animals. They they are just fucking animals. Like, I don't I don't I don't have much to say about Seal and Dugon. They're pretty not separate. Seal looks worse, but not by but like it's just okay. Uh, Dugong is just a fucking Dugong. Like it's just a cartoon Dugong. It's not anything special. They're just going. See, they're very forgettable. They are very 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 forgettable Pokemon. To be completely honest. They are not special. They're they're not they're not anything really. Not anything special. Muck, Grimer and Muck. I'm actually going to put these up here in B tier because I like the. Sure, they're just pause of slime, but they're not anything like they they do the design well, and I like. And I and I like what they did here. Like sure, it's a, it's a poison slime monster, but. I feel like it still looks good. Instead of just kind of being that, but then like not doing anything, like it, 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 but not making a good design out of it. I feel like Muck and Grimer, like Muck, Grimer, Muck, do make good designs with what they have here, and, and, and that's what I like with them. Uh, Shelter and Cloister. I think Shelter is C tier, and Cloister. I'm gonna put in B tier. I would have liked it. I don't know. I don't. I don't like as much as any of these guys uh, appear in A tier. I know. I like Parasite more than Cloister, but I don't know. It's just like an. It's just an oyster of a face. <laughs> that's all it is. I, I don't. I don't really find it all that appealing. I'm not, it's not like my favorite out of like, any of these guys. Like, it's not good out of any of these guys. If any better or like equally better or like it, it's even better than any of these guys here. So, yeah, it's just going in there. And Shelter is just a fucking clamp with a, with, a, with a long tongue. It is not anything special by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> like, Cloister is literally, like, the definition of, like, it's just this thing, but Pokemon. Okay, Ghastly, uh, the, the Gengar line. Okay, this is not gonna be very, this is not gonna be controversial at all. That if I kept it there, that'd be controversial, but uh, definitely not. I'm just gonna eh, and 
Eh. They did a really good job of the trailer, Louis just making them seem worth it. <laughs> Until Lance Arcus, where they had the linking cord, and they said they never brought bring that back ever again. Uh, but I feel like the gasoline just gets better as it goes on. Sure, gas is a ball of gas, but also I feel like it has a lot of other stuff going on, like the poison. It's like a ghost. Yeah, the, the, the the ball of gas is just like a like a poison cloud. It's like it's like a ghost, with, like this poisonous mist around there. That's really cool. And Haunter just looks, the just looks great. I I, I like the hands, like the the disembodied hands, the the creepy, the, the 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 like not that creepy, but like the 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 very sharp face the very sharp, sharp features and gengar is just like the pinnacle of this like the the sinister face and the, like the green and the purple and like the stuff it carries over from haunter like the the pointy bits that's just all oh, really cool and gengar is one of the top designs of the generation really um next up is onyx and to be honest, I would have liked Onyx more if it wasn't for the face. It's just an okay design. It's just a pile of rocks shaped like a snake with a really dumb face. And that's just what I feel like it, it deserves. It just deserves, it, it's an okay design, really. It, it's okay. It, it's not anything special. It's just an okay design. Um, Hypno and Hypno, Drowsy and Hypno. I don't like these as much. They're not okay. I, I, I don't know. It's just like a derpy face and like the, like it is like borderline kind of creepy. I, I, I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of these two. And especially now what, what, what the internet has done to, to these two. It, like it's, 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 uh, it's not had the best Outlook on uh, <laughs> on me to be honest. These these are just kind of not. I, I think they're good Pokemon. Um, Krabby Kingler. I Krabby's just a fucking crap. I know Kingler's also just a fucking crap, but it's designed better, so I'm gonna put it at least in B tier. <laughs> it, it's a kind of a big pincer, but kick, but Krabby is just actually a fucking crap. Like, there's no other way to put it. It is just a crab. <laughs> That's what crabby is. <laughs> it's legit a crab. You are not getting, like, any other points for that. But King of the like has, like, the, like, the gnarly face and, like, the uh, the big pincer and all that. that. That's cool. But crabby is just a fucking crab. Voltorb and Electro. Eh, I understand what they were going for with these Pokemon, but they're just dumb faces on balls that are supposed to look like Pokeballs. And sure, it's a cool gimmick, but it doesn't really save and ring on also kind of annoying. So they're kind of bumped down to C tier from where I think they probably would have been like it's like a B tier, maybe if I really give a shit. But yeah, design is just kind of there, really. I'm not the the, the biggest fan of, of these two and this is also going to be not i don't know if it's going to be that controversial uh executors are just fucking pile of eggs i do like that it's not just like oh it's just a pile of eggs it's like a seed it's like seeds and and, and like the uh, and then the one that's cracked as like the the fucking Uh, yeah, like the like the inner seed and all that, but they're just fucking they're just seeds, eggs. I don't know what they're gonna call them, but it's a it's a as at least has like good <laughs> like 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 uh like a, like a good design to go with it. It's like it's it sure it's goofy, but I think it's like a better design than any of these guys. Cubone and Marowak. Um, Cuboin, 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 Cuboin goes up there, and Marowak goes up here in A. I like Cuboin, got them Cuboin's design. Uh, the like the like the skull. I think the contrast with the colors and then like the lore here is really good. 
And I think Marowak is just a great design overall. I, I think I, I like Marowak's design quite a bit. Um, so, yeah. Um, it, 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 I think it's a very well-made design. And I do quite enjoy that from uh, this Pokemon. So yeah, uh, that's all I say about them. Uh, Hitmon Lee and Hitmon Chan. All well, these these were separate until they weren't. So I want to cover. Uh, am I gonna cover? No, I'm not gonna cover them separately. Uh, Hitmon Lee is S. No, what the fuck? What was this guy? I guess. Uh, Hitmon Lee is S tier, and Hitmon Chan is B tier. I don't like Hitmon Chan. Uh, hey, Hitmon Lee. Hitmon Lee is one of the better designs to generation. Uh, I love it. I know it's simple, but I like like the stretchy limbs and all that that it has, and I, I feel like the like the, like the eyes like convey this like a dangerous one, the dangerous Pokemon like, that just kicks things on the fucking moon. But him only, I don't know. Like the like the purple, like uh, like the purple, like clothes it has. Or, I don't know. Like the like they, they don't look as good. I don't think the boxing gloves sure look good. But I don't I don't I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think design overall looks as good as him only really. And it got it got bumped down quite a bit. But yeah, I think him only is an S tier design. Which yes, I prefer him only. Over any of I prefer money over Charizard. I really do. Like a tongue. Moving on. <laughs> I'm kidding. No. Okay. Like a tongue is stupid. It's it, it's just it's like everything that everything bad of Pokemon is in the like tongue. It's like an ugly fucking pink for its design. It has a long ass like disgusting gimmick of its tongue. And it has weird ass patterns. Who designed this thing? It's so bad. It's an it's an actual horrendous design. Who came over with Lickitung? I have no idea. I I want to see their fucking manager. God damn. Like actually, right fucking now. Uh, coughing and wheezing. I don't have much to say about these two. I'm just I'm kind of different to them. I like what they were going for here. Like I, I, I don't know what they were fucking going for here. I just like I, I I get the designs, but I'm not like the biggest fan of them. They're just okay. They 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 are just okay designs, and that's fine to have around in Pokemon. Rhyhorn and Rhydon. I like them more, but they're not high up. Shit. Uh, they're just B tier. They're, they're good designs, I won't lie. But they're not like as good as any of the A tiers. They're, they're, they're not. They're just down here in, in B tier. And but that, that, that's fine. I, I would have liked them more. I think I would have liked Ride On more bad, like at like the same level of armor that Rhyhorn has. But it doesn't, and that's why it suffers. That's why it's down here. Chansey is okay it's just again like a fucking oval a pink oval it has like other things going for it but it's not enough for me to fucking care about it so same thing for ta for tangela it's just the weirdest design pokemon here with like shoes it's like a fucking mario enemy shoes like a vine and like a face under that like vine face like i got like a face made out of vines but that's like a but it has like a like a, like, a, like a sphere of eyes, like a dark sphere of eyes, like it's hiding something. I don't know. It just looks weird. It, the, this just looks really, really weird. Kangaskhan. Uh, honestly, I don't, I don't like Kangaskhan as much. I like like the design details, but it's not good enough to be in A tier, I don't think. I know that's a very weird like thing to say. Oh, Kangaskhan not an A tier? What the fuck? But yeah, no, Kangaskhan for me is not an A tier. I don't like it as much as any of the other guys. I think I like it just as much as any of the, of the V tier guys. 
it's just like for me like the like the like sure like oh we got a lot of colors and stuff but yeah but it's just kind of i don't know it just looks kind of basic it's just i don't, I don't think it's like a like a great like take on on kangaroo pokemon and think we could get a little bit better but it's just there horsey and cedra um this is another one that, that kind of like ghastly but uh not it's not finished yet uh, i feel like these guys get better as they go on uh horsey has the cutest down the cutest thing down well but then it evolves into cedra which is a lot cooler and i has like the and like I, I, I like the colors a lot of the gen 1 pokemon have like this brown like this like beige color to really accent them and i feel like it looks it, look, it looks better here and it looks better with like and i think uh cedra does it a little bit better because it has like that that brown like that that beige coming out of the blue and in, in the back and i feel like that's really cool but yeah it will get better in a generation uh because the cedra line isn't done yet uh goldine and sea king are okay <laughs> they're not anything special they're just fucking fish to really uh, to accent the the other guys but they're not they're not special. What are you talking about? Uh, next up is Staryu and Starmie. And these guys are some of the better designs of generation. Uh, Staryu goes in A. Starmie in... S. Right over here. So... Staryu... Sure, it's like oh, it's 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 just brown, but I feel like the yellow and like the red eye really do wonders for the design. And the fact that it's like not really typical for this generation to have sort of like this thing, but I do like Star U and uh, Star U design and Stormy is just way better. Like the gold and the and then the purple, and the red gem, it's just it's just a way better design and one of the best this generation has to offer. Really, Mister Mime, fuck you. You look creepy as shit. I don't like your colors. You are the same reason, uh, you you are an FGO for the same reason that Ligget, uh, Ligetung is. You have like the worst color scheme, you have a bit better, but you are still pretty bad. Fuck you. Um, Scyther. I like Scyther a lot. It is, is it, is it S, no it's not S tier. It's, oh shit. The fuck were you? There we go. It's not S tier. It is a solid A. It's the it, the green like some some things about the Scyther side, 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 side design I don't really like. For example, like it looks like it's wearing a shirt, and I don't I'm not the biggest fan of that. Uh, and just like the thing, it, it looks really weird for like a bug Pokemon. It's like you're trying to be like a like like a like a reptile bug thing, and it's just not really working for me. Yeah, it really isn't. So yeah, there's that. Um, Jinx. Eh, I don't, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like Jinx as much. Like the, like the, the weird, like the dress, like the fucking, uh, the fucking like, like the, 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 the breast part of it is just really weird. The, the, the blonde hair, uh, it, the lips looks weird. Like just looks bad. I, I, I don't like Jinx as much to be honest. Uh, Electabuzz is i think just b tier uh that is like yeah the, the stripes look cool but i feel like the face is like does those things that just kind of fucking fuck with the design kind of a little a, a little it makes me not like electabuzz as much and magmar is the same reason like it's a, it's a good like base but they're not they're, they're not like good pokemon <laughs> they're, they're, they're just things like the face Really does ruin it for me, uh, with with uh, Ma uh with Magmar. It's just and that's just really it. That, 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 that's that's it with design. It's just the face. I feel like everything else works fine, but I feel like the face is just kind of weird. Plus the like, with Magmar, the the like the arms have like that weird pattern that's not found on any other part of the body, which is just really weird. There's like the weird texture on it. Pincer, um. Pinsir, I think, is also a. I like Pinsir's on quite a bit. I like like the the, the Pinsir's being on, on top of of its head, 
and like the like the like the gnarly face it has and like the like the actual body that looking like looking like a bug it looks like a it, it looks like a villainous uh like you know like pinstripe what the fuck this like thing is supposed to be like a beetle i don't know but, but yeah, it, it looks like it looks gnarly, and I and I really do enjoy that about Pinsir. Uh, next up is Tauros, which I'm just gonna put in B because I do like Tauros design, but it's just a fucking bull. Like that's, that's just that's just what Tauros is. And uh, no way, no A tier. Okay, let I me mean, let me explain. I, so I just I just I'm gonna change my mind in fucking seconds. But Tauros, I feel is is a lot better. Then I, 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 sure, it's just a bull, but I feel like it does like the aggressive bull thing well by having it actually look kind of aggressive. And I do, I do like some of the designs. I feel like the darker colors really do uh, help it a lot. So yeah, it, it's an A tier. Magikarp, the fucking, I, I know what this is gonna be a fucking meme, but Magikarp uh, S tier. Let me explain. And also Gyarados is going in S tier the same way. It's the only time I'm gonna do these for you, for these guys. So save her fuck. So save her the fuck up. Um, Marduk and Gyarados have the like story of being like this really weak Pokemon, being turned into like this really strong one, and I do really enjoy that. So, you know, they are some of the better like story wide, and also like the really really like the colors of Magic Gyarados less so because it, again it has like that like like the like the pretty typical like beige and blue that most of the water pokemon have in this generation but i feel like the story about with these two does it really well plus a shiny of uh, plus gary does shi gary does a shiny is really good lapras uh might seem a surprise to many or might not i don't fucking know but i but the lapras is b tier it's just a please it's sort of like a like a shell on its back i don't know it's it it's it's good but it's like not anything special I feel like they could have done a lot more of a Plesior sort um, uh, Pokemon, but they didn't. They just made uh, they just made Lapras, which is fine. But it's it's it, it's a good design, but it's not for me. It's not anywhere near these guys in A tier. Ditto. It's okay. It's just a blob. Like it, it it's legit just a blob. There's nothing much more to say about the about this. It's just a plot that transforms into things. Sure, that's cool and all, but it doesn't really save for design. It's not like Magical does a cool story. It's just like it's just there. Eve the whole Eevee line. Okay, Eevee. E the evolutions. Uh, Eevee in B. Uh, Vaporeon also in B. This guy in C, and this guy goes. In S. Okay, so Eevee is just Eevee. Let's like, talk about yeah, these C tiers. Uh, the C tier first. Uh, no, let's, talk, let's go fucking order. Uh, Eevee and Vaporeon. They're just they're just good designs overall. Sure, Vaporeon's been kind of ruined by the internet, and so I guess so was Eevee. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So, the more you know, <laughs> they're just there and. Uh, they're good designs, but they're not like my favorite of the evolutions. Flareon is the weirdest one because it's just like, oh yeah, it has no fire type moves like in Gen One. It's like, what the fuck? You have to teach a fire type moves. It looks kind of it's like the weakest looking evolution because it's just kind of a big Eevee, but if they colored it like a little bit more orange, this is that that's what that's what Flareon looks like. It's just an okay design. But Jolteon is one of the better designs of the generation. I like the, like the it looks like a light, it looks like lightning uh, coming out of it. It looks like it's electrified. That's really cool. It's like it looks like it's fast and all that. That's really really cool. I like a lot from Jolteon's design here. I feel like it's a really cool one. Uh, Porygon is I think good. It, it's a it's a B tier design. I I like Porygon a lot. Uh, Porygon, sure, but it, it does. The, I think it does the thing well of looking a lot more, uh, like robotic and having a bunch of more ro robotic movements, and it looking like polygons and all that. That looks really. I feel like that. That looks cool. 
I, I feel like that about the design it looks cool. It looks like it looks like a computer Pokemon and having like this like it's made out of polygons and stuff like that's that's really cool. Too bad it's been banned from the anime because it would have been a really cool design. Uh Ammonite and Amastar. Um it might seem like heresy towards Lord Helix. But these guys are just okay. Actually, Ammonite is in good. He's in B tier. So Ammonite, I feel like it's a lot something a lot better being like a like a an Ammonite Pokemon. But I feel like the thing the blue again is just, it's just in the same color scheme. But the body's at least mainly blue and I do like the, the eye I, I like the eyes, I like the the whole thing has, but like like Amastar just like it's trying too much to be an evolution. Like the beak doesn't really work for me. The the spikes on on the shells doesn't really look, work for me. It's just not as I know works for me. Uh Kabuto Kabutops. Kabuto is B tier. Kabutops is a definite S tier. Kabuto is good. It's just a good horseshoe crab Pokemon or whatever the fuck is this gonna like does that thing is a Tylobite actually. It's a, good, it's a good design. I like, I like the red eyes and stuff. I wish you would have kept some more, some of the things for Kabutops that that, Kamen, that Kabuto has, but Kabutops is still a really good design and a, and, a, and a, one of the better designs of the generation. Really, I love Kabutops a lot. I feel like it looks better. Better the head shape, like the scythe arms, the it, like the fact it looks kind. Of, it, 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 it's like what Scyther needed to be. But it just does it way better than Scyther. And yeah, just a really good design overall. Like just one of the better designs of the generation. The combo tops. Aerodactyl is uh A, I guess. I, I like Aerodactyl. I, I, I like the color scheme they went with, like the purple and like the gray and all that. That's that's really cool. But aside from that, um, with not much to say about Aerodactyl, I think it's just a, a, a great design, a, a great design. But aside from that, and not much more to say about Aerodactyl. <laughs> uh, Snorlax, I, I, I know kind of, like, I know it got said, oh, like the story behind Snorlax, like, about, about behind Magikarp and Gyarados is kind of cool. It's like, it's sort of BS tier, but Snorlax, Sure, the story about it is cool, but it's, it's like hampering story progression. It's not really that it's not really that, that, that deep. And to be honest, Norlax just the kind of deserves to be here. It's just an oak. It's a, it's a good design, but it's just not for me really. It's just kind of basic. Okay, now we're in the final stretch of this. Uh, the legendary birds, Articuno. First up, um, Articuno. Uh, is uh, is a great design, I think. I, I, I like the blues. It, is, it, is, it doesn't fall into that same pit of having like the beige. I like the different blues it has. The the tail is really cool. The head crest is like very cool. I, I like Articuno quite a, quite a lot, really. So, yeah. Articuno deserves to be here in A tier. Zapdos. I feel like Zapdos is a good design it's a, it's a fucking Dorito bird but it doesn't do it as well it, it's not it's just kind of there like it, it, it sure it's sharp and stuff but I feel like it's too sharp for, for my liking and I know I've liked a lot of sharp Pokemon here I, and I and I like Goldion but the thing is I think it's just I feel like this design is just too sharp for me to really like it and it's just it, it just doesn't work for me and Moltres is okay it's just a, it's like a fucking rubber chicken <laughs> it's it's a rubber chicken like it, it's 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 just not like, it, like it's just like a rubber chicken on fire. It doesn't really do for me, so yeah. That, that that's what I think about this guy. Uh, that's the Dratini line, and this might seem I don't know if this seems like a like a weird thing to say, but uh, this is gonna be my Dratini um ranking. Give me a second. Da, 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 da. And there we go. <laughs> okay, so the Dratini line, first of Dratini, I think it does well with like, the sea serpent thing and also kind of looking kind of cute and all that. And 
had the fins do a lot well for me, and like the eyes, and like the, I guess what be the mouth, like that mouthpiece, I think it was really, it looks really good. Dragonair is, I think, hands down, the best design this generation has. Just the best design. The C separate thing, like the, 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 the jewels, like the, 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 the head fins, the, 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 the horn adds to it, the, it looks like a, like will be like a beautiful sea dragon you'd see it out, out in the ocean and it looks really cool dragonite fucks that all over it's still a good design but don't get me wrong but dragonite fucks that all over and to be honest i know i've seen a lot of people think oh uh people people speculate oh magica was supposed to evolve into dragon and dragonite and dragonair was supposed to evolve into gyarados I would have liked Gyarados less, to be honest, because it still wouldn't have, have sufficed my my like inner need, like my I need to get to like to get um to get like a proper Dragonair evolution. It's the like, Dragonair deserves a lot better than Dragonite or Gyarados. But yeah, next up we have our last two. First up, Mew let's talk about Mewtwo first. Mewtwo, shouldn't be a surprise to anyone, is S tier. It does legendary things so well that it just deserves to be up here. It looks menacing. It has a, 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 a cool color scheme. It has a cool backstory of being like a clone of Mew, this mythical Pokemon. I love Mewtwo. It, it looks really good. Plus, it looks like, like, it, it looks like Mew, but not really, like, it, it, it's, it's a perfect design. And Mew... Mew is a great design, but it's not on the, on the same and at the same point as the other ones. So, it's going in A tier. Uh, it, it, it looks like a fucking, like... It's probably, the, that's probably what they were going for, but it looks like a... Like a... Like a... Like a... Like a furless... Uh, a furless cat. And, I don't know. It, it looks... It's great. It's a great design for, like, a mythical one. It has, like, this backstory over it. But, aside from that, eh... Eh. Uh, I guess after that, like it doesn't, it, it's not to be, it's not, it's not gonna be here in, in A tier, in S tier, right? It's gonna, it's gonna stay the solid A tier. So yeah, uh, running it down. Is there, this is this this is my list. Just take a good look at it. Take a wide good look at it, and this, and this list turned out to be. Actually longer than the Sword and Shield one, which I fucking didn't want to be, but whatever. Uh, I'll run with it. So, yeah. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, Gen 1 is a good starting point, because that's actually, I actually said, oh, there's not, there's not gonna be any, any S tiers, and then there fucking was a lot of S tiers. There's, there's what, like, what, how many is this? This is, uh, this is 16 S tiers in, uh, in Gen 1 alone, so... It's a very good generation to start off with. And sure, there's a lot of C tiers, just because mainly a lot of them are just kind of animals, and there's two F tiers, which is just there. So, whatever, right? <laughs> yeah, I feel like Gen 1 is a good starting point for, for Pokemon. Sure, it's been patterned to a lot, but what are you gonna do? It's the first generation. So, yeah, what do you guys, what did, I'm not asking you guys, what do you guys think of the generation of the first generation uh, uh, of your. Hey, uh, what, how do you rank your, your, your Generation Pokemon? No. What is your favorite Generation 1 Pokemon? For me, it has to be Dragonair. I think Dragonair is my favorite design of Generation. But leave in the comments below. What did you what, what do you guys think is the best design? Uh, what do you think is what is your favorite design from Generation 1? Leave in the comments below. Or what's your favorite Pokemon from, from, the, from, your, from the first generation? Leave in the comments below. Um, and also, if you want to, you can tweet or at, at us or okay, on either uh, Twitter or Blue Sky your your own Pokemon Gen One tier list uh, from anyone you want to do. It doesn't have to be uh, it doesn't have to be from Bubble and Jack this, this, this exact tier this exact list, but you can do that as well. Uh, anyways, yeah, thanks again to Bubble and Jack. I know you're probably not listening to this, but thanks to Bubble and Jack for uh, for for making this tier list. And, uh, yeah, follow us on our socials. They're all down below. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. See ya.